Welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to charge a customer in, with Stripe using uh, first subscription or subscription model. With I'm also going to use PHP. So in a previous video, I showed you how to set up the PHP SDK, and I also showed you how to charge charge a, a credit card as well as charge a customer. So this can all be found in this tutorial here. It's very similar to the Stripe one. So here's the subscription. So you should have already set up um, the JS file, the HTML, the CSS, and the PHP script meant for charging the customer. If you haven't had this, check out like a previous video. So all we have to do here is we already have our customer. Now we're actually going to create a, a uh, we're actually going to create the, uh, the plan. So what we're going to change, we're going to change one thing here. We're going to create another button on our home page. This, actually we're not going to create a button on, you can do this via code, but you can, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it via the, the dashboards are here and the code you can see I create a plan where it's tw um, the amount of $20. It's on a monthly basis. The name of the plan is gold and the, the, the unique ID is, is gold. Uh, so this is called, the name is gold large and this, the currency is can uh, Canadian. What we're going to do is create, go over to subscription, go to new, and we're going to create a subscription. Um, so we already have this customer, right? And this is his customer ID. Sorry, I don't want to do this. Um, okay, so you know, let's forget. It. We're gonna just, uh, we're gonna do a via code. Um, so what we're gonna do is go over here, copy and paste. So we already have our um, customer. All we have to do is output. Our customer, so we're going to create this plan where it's twenty dollars a month. It's gold, and we're going to charge the customer, our new customer. The subscription plan. Instead of gold, we're going to actually reference the idea object instead. And go like this, and because I I know from the straight documentation, it returns a customer uh, subscription ID. So we're going to hit back here. It's going to load in. We're going to use our test data 4242242 um, month future date. Okay, so we're all good. Uh, we've saved this and hit submit. It's processing. Okay, so AAY is our subscription. If we go over to subscriptions here, if we go over plans and see gold large has been created. Now we don't actually have to create this again. So that's what I want to do the first time over the dashboard. I, I didn't know where I was going actually. To be honest. All you want to do is go to new and then enter all the information regarding the plan. But you can also do a via code like we did. And you want to go to subscription. I now have paying user. He's active. He's on the gold large plan. He's paying $20 a month. I can look at some information about this. You know, Current period is from this date to this date. Uh, created here. Um, it charges him automatically every single month. And it's kind of nice because you don't have to worry about this. Next, all you have to do is write the code to cancel the subscription. And that can be all found in the, in the Stripe documentation, um, in the full documentation, which can be found on the Stripe website. I think I've included it in one of these responses. Here's Stripe full documentation. So here's the Stripe API reference. Just simply scroll down. Just create uh, capturing a charge. Connect. Uh, so script subscriptions in here is in here. So plans. So here's delete a plan. Um, or invoice. Anyways, it's somewhere in here. You can find it. Uh, so please check it out. If you have any questions, please include them in the comments. Um, you can also uh, please subscribe to the channel. And if you hopefully you like this video.